So you went on a trial of Stratera for a few weeks. You quit several months ago because of the side effects, yet you still feel as you're feeling the side effects of the drug and you want to know why that is. That's a very good question for which there is an answer. So here's what's up with Stratera. It's well known that Stratera is a norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. However, what is not as well known about it is that it has a profound impact on gene expression and protein levels of norepinephrine transporter and many receptors in certain regions of the brain. So what I'll do is I'll direct you to a recent study on the long-term effects of Stratera and I'll summarize it for you briefly. In this study, they took two groups of rats and gave them Stratera for 21 days, three weeks. And in the first group, what they did was after the 21 days, they took them away and they analyzed their brain right away and just looked for any changes that Stratera may have caused. In the second group, they also gave Stratera for 21 days, three weeks. But after the 21 days were up, they put them off the medication and left them alone for two months. And then only after the two months did they then analyze the brain for changes. They did the exact same battery of tests that they did on the first group that they did on the second group. The only difference is that the first group was analyzed immediately after the three weeks of Stratera, 21 days. And the second group, after they got the 21 days of Stratera, they waited two months. Here's a chart that briefly summarizes the findings of the study. The top part you'll see the early treatment group, the bottom part the late treatment group. And it's divided up by brain region and also by gene expression and protein levels of norepinephrine transporters, NMDA receptors, and snare receptors. Uh, norepinephrine transporters, you guys know what they are. NMDA receptors, I'm just gonna give a very, very brief, quick explanation. I don't wanna go into it, it'll take too long. NMDA receptors are just one of many types of receptors. Brain cells work by being activated and sending electrical impulses and they use receptors for getting activated. So NMDA receptors, it gets activated, it lets ions in, it depolarizes a cell so it sends an impulse to the next cell, it depolarizes that cell and so on and so forth. That's how neurons quote unquote fire, right? So that's what that does. The snare proteins, what that is in charge of is basically vesicles. So things come in, in and out of cells through vesicles. So it releases neurotransmitters, it takes things into cells. So that's more or less on a, at a very basic level what that's about. The fact that Stratera alters gene expression in people's brains is gonna surprise a lot of people. But what is gonna surprise people even more, I guarantee you, is when you compare the early treatment group to the late treatment group. Now conventional wisdom would have people think that if I stop taking a medication, that the effects should lessen over time and eventually go away. But that's not what was found in this study of Stratera. If you look in many brain regions where Stratera is active and compare the early treatment group to the late treatment group, and I'll show a few of these up here. The early treatment group is in the light gray. The late treatment group is in the dark. And I'll just scan through a few of these and you can see, and I'll link to the study if you wanna look at it more closely. But what has been found is that Stratera, after being off of it for several weeks, had more profound and pronounced changes in the late treatment group than in the early treatment group. And again, remember, the late treatment group got Stratera for 30 or 21 days, three weeks, and they were off the medicine for two months. They got nothing. And their changes are greater than those of the early treatment group. That study should be able to answer your question as to why you still feel the side effects of Stratera, even though it's been several months since you actually have taken the medicine. Stratera makes genetic changes. Those changes are not easily reversible. And the changes that it makes to NMDA receptors are that it makes them produce less subunits for that particular receptor. So if you think of like a chair, a chair has several parts. It has legs, it has a base, it has a back. And what Stratera is doing is that it is reducing the gene expression for one of those pieces and making it less chair-like. So if you think of a drug and you let's say you want to block people from sitting on a chair, well, you have to make the chair non-functional. Some drugs might just, for example, an, an example would be like if a drug just sat on top of the chair and occupied the chair, you can still move the stuff off the top of the chair and it's still fine. But what Stratera is doing is making genetic changes and altering the actual composition of the chair. So 
What Stratera does instead is that, let's say, it removes a leg of the chair. So now it's a broken chair, so therefore it is non-functional. And that's basically what Stratera does to a lot of these different proteins and receptors in the brain. It makes them non-functional. And that's supposed to help with people who have certain, certain issues. I don't really want to get into detail. It's just supposed to be why did the side effects last so long. But changes where you're permanently altering a chair, it's not easy to fix, right? So that's the way Stratera works compared to the way that most people think drugs work classically. And it doesn't always work out that way. And that's why you still feel the effects today, and you will probably continue to feel the effects. At the end of that two-month study, after they had been off the drug for two months, it showed absolutely no signs of abating certain aspects of it. Some of them returned to close back to where normal was before, but others amplified, and they stayed that way. And they're likely to stay that way until something else acts on them. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. And if you have any more questions on specifics, I know this was a little bit not as detailed as some people would like. It just takes a long time to explain, so I hope it was as helpful as I can be for the time constraints. Again, if you have more questions, let me know. I'll see you next time.